It's time for our pet of the week, and our vet is here to answer your questions. We welcome back Dr. Paul Welch from Forest Trails Animal Hospital, and today he has Princess Plum with him. Princess Plum has been smiling this whole time she's been here. Tell me about her. She's about a five-year-old Cairn Terrier mix. Said, I'm like a Cairn Terrier except short, aren't you? <laughs> And uh, so she's, she's a very sweet little girl. Yes, she, she is. Really, really is. If you want to adopt her, call the Animal Rescue Foundation at 622-5962 or visit their ARF house at La Fortune Park during the hours on your screen. You can also visit newson6.com slash pets for other pets who need to be adopted. So we have a few questions for you, so let's get started. Yeah. Uh, the first one comes from Gene. They ask, do the products sold on Amazon, like the powders put into food, really help get rid of plaque on dogs' teeth? Generally speaking, not really. One of the things you'll run into is if you go to the veterinarians, you know, we'll see the brown tartar that or plaque that's on the, uh, the teeth. And what is happening is as they're eating the dog food and everything like this, the, uh, it's kind of, you know, that if you haven't brushed your teeth a couple of days, you kind of feel that slime on the outside mm -hmm. of your teeth. And that's just sticking there. And we don't worry about the cavities or anything like this, but it makes a little ledge with that uh, dark brown tartar, and your bacteria gets over the top of that ledge and up under your gums, kind of like having uh, leaves in your gutter where it'll get under the eaves of the house and start rotting. So that's what we worry about. What usually has to happen is you, um, you'll you bring your dog to vet, we'll take an ultrasonic cleaner, you know, anesthetize them, clean all of that off. Once it's clean, then you keep it off, preferably by brushing, uh, like once every two weeks, or uh, you can use raw hides or different things like this. But the goal is to get those um, gums or those lips rubbing around on top and actually wiping their teeth. So what you want to do is get that action like this as they're chewing on something. So the powders, if you've got that plaque, they're not going to magically make it go away. Go right. and dissolve it. Yeah, good advice. Mm -hmm. uh, second question comes from Linda. She asks, is excessive scratching a sign of allergies in dogs? It started a couple of weeks ago. Allergies are a big deal right now. Absolutely. And um, your tartar, or I mean your, uh, um, your allergies for people or sinuses, for dogs, it's skin, it's itching. Elm and alder trees started about two weeks ago. That is generally going to be allergies. Talk to your veterinarian about it. Hopefully everything will just pass pretty quickly. But uh, like I said, we just have to make it through it. So yes, probably the itching is if you've rolled out fleas. Yeah, it, probably check to see if it's fleas first or anything like that. Oh yeah, that, you just you look know, real then, quickly and if yeah. it's not, it's allergies. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Last question. My dog is going bald right in front of his ears. I'm not seeing anything that indicates fleas or mites. He's not excessively itching. It doesn't seem to bother him at all. He's on three different eye drops for a glaucoma and a heart pill. Could this be medicine related or something else? Usually this is just a little bit of older dog hair loss. It's real common right in front of the ears. In fact, if you'll look in front of dog ears, and the cat ears, you'll notice it's thinner there anyway. We think that that allows the sound waves to kind of enter the ear uh, a little easier and everything like this. That's not anything you're really going to worry about. You know, we need a little male pattern baldness or something mm -hmm. like this. You can see a little bit of uh, where it's a little lighter in front of here too. It's just getting lighter and lighter. Nothing to worry about. So is there anything that you can do to treat it at all or you just don't even need to worry about it? Very not, much? A, not anything you really can do or need to do. All right. So it's not the medication. You're doing great. Not a problem. All right. Dr. Welch and Princess yeah. Plum, thank you so much for being here. You can email us uh, your questions if you have a question for Dr. Welch at noonshow at newson6.net. Thanks again for joining us today. We'll be right back after this break.